once we have talked about objects and how to use classes, so we have also talked about the static keyword, right? So when we talk about the static keyword, we can make a variable and a method as a static members. In this video, we'll talk about inner class. Now what exactly inner class is? So let me create a class here just to demonstrate that. I will name this class as inner demo. And I need a main function. We'll, we'll click on that uh, checkbox which will give you the main method here. So once we got the main method and what we can do. So let me just take that down. I have a different way of writing codes. You know, now there are people, there are two type of people basically. One who write a curly package there or some people they write here. So it's again, it's our choice, right? So let's say we have this main method here inside this class. So let's talk about this class here. So inside this class, I can create a members, right? So I can create a variable, right? So we can create variables. We can create methods. So that means inside a class, we can have variables or we can have methods. Okay, so just to demonstrate that, let me create a class here. I will name this class as outer. So we have this class called as outer class. In this outer class, I can create a variable. So I can say int a, so that's the variable there. And I can also create a method by saying public void show. So this is a method, right? So this is a variable and this is a method. A class can have variables, a class can have methods. Now the way you can call this method is by creating the object of outer, right? So we have to say outer obj equal to new outer. And now we can simply say, we can simply say obj dot show. It means that whenever you want to access a method, we need to use the object of a class, right? Whenever you, have, you, you want to access a non-static method then. Now let's see, we have two variables here. I mean, we have two things. We have a variable and a method both can be accessed from anywhere. So a class can have variables and methods. But can a class can have a class? I mean inside a class can I create a class? And that is possible. So we, inside this class outer I can create a class inner. So we can create a class inside a class. You can see there is no syntactical issue. The code is working. So you can write a class inner class out inside the outer class. So this is a member variable. This is a member method and this is a member class. Let's say in this class you know I have a method which is public void display. Now basically how do you call display? So for that in order to call display method which will print something let's say I'm printing something here I will say in display. So if I want to execute this if I want to execute this method by printing in display we need to create object of inner right. Now how do we create object of inner? So it's very simple just come here and say inner I uh, will name this as obj1 equal to we'll say new inner now will that work and you can see that it's not working there it is giving you some error error is it is inner and inner and it is not able to resolve it what is the issue here so it is not able to resolve it is because we can find outer because it is in your scope you can find outer but in order to find inner it's inside the outer class right so the way you can create the inner object is by specifying that it belongs to the outer class. Now how do you mention that? So the way we call a method by, showing, by using the object, right? So to access this inner, so this is a reference, this is a class name and this is a constructor. So just to remind you, this is a class name here and that's a constructor. So in order to access inner, we have to use outer dot inner. Okay, so we, we, we can use the class by specifying the class name. But this thing is an object, right? Whenever you say new inner, we have seen that when we, uh, when we, when we are created objects, this is an object, right? And the only way you, to, you, to access the object is by using the outer class object. And the outer class object is obj. Let me repeat. In order to use the inner class, the class itself, we have to use the outer class. But in order to create object of inner class, we need to use the object of outer class. That's how it works. And then simply we can say obj1 dot display that's the method way right so if I if I click on if I select display if I run this code uh, you can see we got the output is the output it's here so this is the output which is in display let me just take the output down okay somewhere here so that's how you create the object of a uh, inner class why we need to create inner class when we can create a separate class we can also create a separate class right inner but the thing is sometimes there's, there's a requirement that you need a class only only for that specific purpose example you need inner class only for the outer class there is no specific purpose for inner class the only purpose is to is to work with outer class then we have to go for inner class otherwise we can create another class of it simple right now what we'll do is let's understand how many classes we have here so in total we have three classes right we have inner demo 
as one class then we have outer class and then we have inner class so every time i mean the number of classes in your file will define the number of class files in your in your in your file because what happens is if you run this if you compile this file it will give you three class files so the name of the class file i mean the name of the file this file here will it will be inner demo dot class it will be outer dot class and this file name would be outer dollar inner dot class now since this inner class belongs to the outer class that's why we have to use a dollar sign there okay so we are specifying that this inner class belongs to this outer class quite simple right so we got this inner class we got this inner demo here we got the outer class we got the inner class and to access the inner class we have to specify the outer class and the object of outer class to access the inner object we can make a variable static right so we can have a static variable the same way we can have a static methods in the same way we can have a static class so the way we can have a static method i mean variable the way we can have the static method in the same way we can have a static class the difference would be in order to access a static class we use the same syntax for the reference but when it comes to the constructor we just have to use the class name no need for an object here now since this inner class itself is a static class we don't need an object to create the object of it and if i run this code you can see we got the output as in display so it works so we have a concept of inner classes inner class will have three basic types one is the member class so if you if you create a normal class without static keyword that's a member class then we can have a static class or we can have a anonymous class so in this video we have talked about member class and static class we'll talk about anonymous class later once we talk once we talk about interfaces abstract classes then we'll talk about an, an anonymous class so we have these two classes we have member class and static class so if you can see we have a static class here and we can also create a member class point to remember is whenever you create object of inner class we have to make sure that you, for the reference you are using the outer class and for member class we have to create you, we have to use the object of the outer class to call the to create the object of inner class in case of static class we can directly mention the class name there okay so that's your member class and static class and when you when you type this code by yourself make sure you go to documents and check for the file name so you have to go to the project go to the src folder and in src you will get this file name or maybe you'll find it in bin so that's it from this video where we have talked about inner classes it can be member or it can be static class we can we also have anonymous class which we'll see later thank you